What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Starting this video at a place that I call the graveyard and I'm going to see if I can find the footage. It was about two months ago. It was during lockdown I think or just after lock when we I think lockdown had just started to ease up and we were coming down the dual carriageway and we could see all the black smoke coming all over. It was, I, I say we, it's because I had my missus on the back. We'd pulled in here, fire, a big fire going off. Someone had set fire to a car. And then, obviously the fire brigade and that lot turned up. We got out of the way. And we came back a couple of days later to have a look. And I went through it. And I've never gone through this little bit. I've never really thought about it. The amount of cars that are in there. I walked around it, but it was back when I had the Honda. Uh, if, if I can't find that footage, I'll do a video separate to it and walk around it and I'll show you how many burnt out cars and shit that goes through in there. Oh that was once upon a time someone's pride and joy. Look, there's another one over there. Look at that. I'll show you which one was on fire yesterday. <laughs> I like how you're touching that, but it, it, it's got half a wheel, Bobby. Half a tyre. <laughs> We ain't here to talk about that. I'm gonna have to do a UE, because I just tried putting off in neutral, which is not a good idea. Yeah, we're not here to talk about that. There's another one. We're here to talk about my next bike. And you're probably thinking, but you've literally just had this bike for, well, you're obviously new to the channel. I don't keep bikes for very long. <laughs> if you don't know that by now, you do now. I I go through bikes like cookies. As soon as I've had one, I want another one. And it's a perfect occasion to talk about that because I'm off the Fowlers. Not to buy a bike and don't think I'll be buying a bike anytime soon. I'm thinking next year will be when I buy the bike. And I think I have a bike in mind. Or should I say bikes? Plural. I'm thinking about switching it up. Now, if you haven't watched my video I did about regrowing the channel, go quickly watch that because I talk about what I kind of want to do in the future. That is more track related riding, uh, but I, I still want to do a lot of riding. I love riding on the roads. Don't know why, it just I feel like it's a getaway for me. But I honestly, this might sound stupid to some people, but also very sensible to others. Uh, I want to stop all this riding fast, trying to chase things, because it's only going to end one way, really, isn't it? And that's either me hurting myself or hurting others. It ain't sensible. Um, and obviously this is coming out after I've posted the other videos that I made. And don't get me wrong, the adrenaline you get when you're doing that, and oh, it's so much fun. But I'm sensible enough to realise it's not sensible. <laughs> I honestly think speed, there's a time and a place for it. And you've got to really think of where and when you're going to do shit like that. And, you know, it's not sensible to be posting on the interwebs, really, either. So it got me thinking. And I wanted to do track stuff anyway. And that would be more the adrenaline. If I get into races... And ooh, I want to do, um, like I said in that video, I want to get into supermoto racing. And I think that will be where I can get all my adrenaline, you know, do all the speed stuff that I want to do. In that in mind, my KTM, which is still getting worked on to the day, that's Bentley up there, seven weeks I think we're on now, they've had it. It's not in that bad condition that it needs seven weeks worth of work. I just, I don't really know what's going on anymore. Uh, they're taking their merry time. It, it'll only be sat in my garage anyway, doing nothing. So it's better off in their garage doing nothing, but slowly getting fixed than it is in mine. Once I get that back, oh yeah, I'm going to use it on the road for a little bit just to enjoy it. But I think I'll start off doing some, get that like track only and use that as a, a track only weapon. You're literally just gone through a red light. <laughs> because I want to do more supermoto racing, I feel like, yeah, on the roads, I've become quite good at riding bikes. I, it sounds cocky, but I'm, I'm, I'm not bad anymore. I'm not terrible anyway. Um, but one thing I suck at, absolutely suck at, is riding dirt.
I got this! I don't got this! <laughs> I want to get an off-road bike. Again, possibly two-stroke. I know I always say I can't ride two-stroke, but that again will be a nice learning curve, which is what I quite like. I, I want to be able to, to learn to ride better. Uh, but then, I have no nothing on the road. So I want to get an uh, on-road bike. And uh, that's the bike I think I'm going to get first. I'm going to sell this, obviously. Uh, wait for the insurance to run out and then buy something new. And I have a few bikes in mind that I'm leaning towards. But we'll see because it's all going to change. So there's no point saying, yeah, that's the one I'm going to go for. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. Because it's where I put a lot of questions and polls and stuff like that. And I was asking what people want to see. Do they want to see sports bikes? Off-road bikes? Uh, I, I could filter. I, I really, I'm in the mood really. I'm just kind of chilling today. So... There's one of them exciting videos. I put a little thing up, Super Duke or MT10. And Jesus, was it close. I think it was like 60-40% to the KTM, if I remember rightly. And so so people are leaning towards like a, a super naked is what they want to see. But like I said, I want to get a dirt bike, so that ticks off that anyway. Supermoto track, so you get the Supermoto. So I was thinking sports bike. But honestly, sports bike isn't where it's at anymore. Unless you're Peter Hickman, you, you ain't using all that bike anyway, you know what I mean? So I think Super Naked is, is the way forward, but even sometimes I, I think to myself, is the Super Duke too much? That bike scares me, man. The, the, the 1290 engine and a, and a naked bike with all the torque. I can't imagine, you know. So I'm thinking middleweight uh, naked bikes. Stuff like the Street Triple 765 R. Is it the 765 R? RS? One of them. Uh, so instead of the Speed Triple, go for the Street Triple. Uh, the KT KTM 890 Duke R. That's where I'm leaning towards anyway. What else we got? Uh, M209. What else? What else is there? But yeah, that's where the market I'm going at. So. Uh, that's what I'm going to go have a look at it Fowler's now, have a look round, have a, have a think of what prices they might have on. I probably wouldn't buy brand new, probably buy second hand anyway, so I probably wouldn't buy from Fowler's. Because um, they'll take all my money anyways. don't have a massive budget. I mean, I'm on a 700 quid bandit at the moment, <laughs> so I don't have a huge budget. And, and plus, I've got to buy a car, and I, I said that, and I've already got my eyes set on a couple of cars. So, I know, I'm going to have four vehicles, thinking about it, which is freaking insane. But if I do it smartly, um, which I think I can do, and then I ain't going to do this over the next couple of months. This is a, a long term. There's a street triple. See, they're nice, aren't they? Um, oh, look at the skyline. Yeah. Fucking hell. Well, that's just made my day. <laughs> Jeez. Right, yeah, so anyway, um, that's the plan, so I've got to get my car first, once I get the car, I can use that for my daily commute, I think you can then get my street bike, obviously I'll already have the supermoto, but I'm going to have to change it up a little bit to make it track use, um, and then the dirt bike will be last, but I, I suspect, the, uh, I don't know, and then, and then I've got all kind of content covered, and everything I enjoy, because... You know, the one reason I've had so many bikes is because I've been trying to find the ultimate perfect bike. And I've, as I said in another video, I've realised that's not physically possible. There is not one singular bike that will do everything. And like I said, yes, you might say oh, the BMW GS and that that's why they're so popular. But in my opinion, they're not that good looking. They're good looking adventure bikes, don't get me wrong, but they're not that good looking bikes compared to my opinion street fighter v4 so you know there's no one perfect bike i don't believe anyway so by having more than one bike you can cover all those bases you can learn so much more and that's the plan that's where i'm going with this is another one of those videos where it's not mo the most exciting and i'm about to record another video after this I'm just go around you you're like pedaling like super slow motion but i yeah, i suppose he's got the right idea because I'm now sat at a traffic light and you can just keep pedalling. I didn't want to go at like 3 mile an hour, if I'm honest. He's going to jump there anyway. 
Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? Or technically, he has already by being there. No, he's going to do it anyway. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to film another boring video, but. These come out during the week and then the weekend is where I put a bit more effort in and do a big kind of a bigger video, not big videos, I ain't got a big budget as I say. One of them. <laughs> but yeah, I wanna say a massive thank you for all the support on my Instagram recently. It's been a madness. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, please go follow me on Instagram. It's what I'm pushing at the moment. I've made a new Facebook but I ain't pushing it at all. Um and I don't have a Twitter because I don't like Twitter. But yeah, go follow me on Instagram. I'm going to do... Well, a video will come out... The video I'm going to record now, the next one, is going to come out before this. So you would have seen it already. If you haven't, go watch it. Uh, system change, no climate change. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm going to start doing like those Instagram shouters again that I used to do. And really push the Instagram stuff. Because I like Instagram. I think it's a good platform. Um, so anyway, I'm turning up at Falders now. And do you know what? The GoPro session has actually stayed on. How mad is that? I got a nice. What is that by me? The blade. Got to love a blade. I always feel awkward putting up a foul with my cameras on. I don't know why. Anyways, I'm going to pop in here. I'm not going to film in there. You know, don't like me filming in there, anyways. Um, but we're going to have a look and see what. You can leave your guesses down in the comments now. I've said naked. Uh, Middleweight nakeds. See what you think. See what you think I should get. Or maybe you can persuade me to get something else. I don't know. Can I squeeze in there? Oh, I'm gonna go over here. Or should I get one of those Z thousands? That's nice.